The United Kingdom has traditionally relied on a small professional army supported by a part-time force called the Territorial Army and avoided conscription. Even in World War I, it took two years of conflict before men were forced to go into the military. As the international situation deteriorated in 1939, especially after Hitler broke the Munich Agreement and occupied Moravia and Bohemia, the threat could no longer be ignored. On 27 April 1939, Leslie Hoare Belisha, Secretary of State for War, persuaded the cabinet of Neville Chamberlain to introduce a limited form of conscription. This was the first time conscription was applied in peacetime in the United Kingdom. The Military Training Act was passed by Parliament on 26 May 1939. Men aged 20 and 21 would do six months full-time military training, and then transferred to the reserve where they would do training with the Territorial Army. The original intention was for this to be for three years but in the meantime the Second World War broke out. Conscripts were called by the somewhat American term, militiamen. To emphasize that they were really civilians, they got a suit as part of their kit. There was provision for conscientious objectors. The first and only call-up was on Saturday 3 June 1939. After the outbreak of war in September 1939 a new conscription law was passed by Parliament. This was the National Service, Armed Forces, Act 1939, which was far more encompassing, and drafted all men aged from 18 to 41 with only a few exceptions. 